Hi everyone. Today I had to package up two pastel paintings, so I thought I would talk you through how I do that. I mount my pastel paper on self-adhesive foam board before I start work. You can see a video on how I do that and why, but this already creates a nice firm board ready for posting and much easier for my framer to handle. So a few things that I always need for a package. Foam board for the back and front, some paper or card for inside, bubble wrap, pens, scalpel, tape and of course a very long ruler. So I take this first big sheet of foam board and I want to create a back and a front from this big sheet. Both of these pieces are actually going to my framer in Northern Ireland so I'll package them one on top of the other and I find that's even better sometimes as it adds a bit more bulk and a bit more strength to the parcel so uh, it's always good when I can send a couple together I find. And I just cut myself two sheets that are slightly bigger than the biggest of the pieces. And then I'm going to just remove any final bits of dust or hairs from the piece and then tape it onto this backboard. I love using a uh, foam board as it's really lightweight and it's also quite strong. So although I spend quite a lot on buying foam board for packaging, I save quite a lot on the postage cost as my parcels end up being quite light. So I just press some tape along that edge. You can see the clear edge around my painting where it's been taped onto my drawing board before. So that always leaves me a nice edge to work with here. And it means that the framer has something to handle it by as well. So very quickly, tape it onto the backboard. And then I'm gonna cover that over with a sheet of thin card. Anything here is useful. Um, I use what I have. If I've got some glassine, that's quite good, or just some regular cartridge paper. You really just want a clean sheet of something to protect the surface of the painting. And again, I tape this layer down. And then the next piece I'm going to put it on top and tape it to this board as well. My framer is excellent, he's so used to opening my parcels so he knows exactly what to do to get in there. I often add little instructions for clients though, so if you're sending something to a client you might want to add some notes on there. I normally add a few instructions saying where to lift the tape and where to slice around the edge, things like that. So after a clean sheet over the horse painting, I add the top sheet of foam board. And now the idea, especially with velour pastel paper, the idea is to make a parcel that everything is really well squashed together. Everything is held nice and firm, that if your parcel gets a hard knock, as it inevitably will going through the postal system, then everything in there is held nice and firm and none of your precious pastel will fall off the surface of the painting. And I've used some time lapse in this video as I'm sure you don't want to watch me fiddle about with sticky tape all day, but you'll see on the next side of the parcel how I really clamp it together while I'm putting the tape on, just making sure that everything is squished and on a long edge like this I tend to start in the middle, really squeeze those together as I pull the tape around and then work my way out to the two sides. And that just keeps it all really tightly squashed in there. Then when I add the next layers of bubble wrap, that will ensure that it can't come apart at all and the outer layer of bubble wrap will stop it from getting any hard knocks. Really a pastel painting, especially on velour paper, its worst enemy is getting a really hard jolt or a knock. Um, and I find that the combination of the foam board and the bubble wrap both being nice and light creates a really firm but lightweight parcel. So the bubble wrapping stage, which is pretty self-explanatory, I just go for lots and lots of layers. Um, one tip before I start to bubble wrap, I tend to put a little mark on the top of the parcel so that I know which way is up. Um, of course, a parcel is going to get turned upside down and knocked all around during the, the postal transit. But 
when anyone is reading the address or anyone is handling the package, it's most likely to be face up with the address facing them. So uh, I always like to have the piece facing up like the address. And then I just fold the bubble wrap around the back. Lots and lots of tape. I pretty much tape the entire parcel. And I'll do a lot more taping than you see here. I've still got my address to add on, but that feels lovely and light and firm. And when I add my address on, I always like to put a little sticker with Emma Colbert art on there. Maybe it makes a postman smile, I don't know. And then once I put the address on, lots and lots more tape and it's good to go. I hope you find this helpful and if you did, please hit subscribe and also that little bell button so that you hear when I make a new video. Also, if you're interested in past little tuition, check out patreon forward slash Emma Colbert Art. Thanks for watching.